I think we're going to end this part of the unboxing on these shoes and then I'll come back to you with part two of this unboxing just because we still have quite a few things left from Hermes. Hello my friends, welcome back to my luxury unboxing, which if you have not seen part one where I discussed all the pieces that I picked up from Celine, Dior, and even Chanel most recently, I'll make sure to have part one link down below for you. And today we're going to be moving into the pieces that I bought from Hermes any one of which would make honestly an amazing holiday gift for yourself or even for someone else. But I do think that self-gifting is kind of underrated. So if you'd like to see the pieces that I treated myself to from Hermes, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. Let's start with a piece that isn't brand new. It's something that I actually shopped my own collection for. It's something that I unboxed definitely a few months ago at this point. I remember still having bleach blonde hair, so it's definitely been a while, but it's something that the baby has just grown into finally, which is in this dust bag, and it's going to be his little Hermes leather collar, which I bought this in a size large just because it was so expensive. I didn't want to have to buy one in every single size for him so he can wear one along the way. I wanted to buy one for him in his full grown size. So hopefully this is something that he can have for a really long time. And believe it or not, he's not finally big enough to actually fit into this, which I can't believe that my little baby can finally fit into a size large collar and he's not even fully grown. So this is something that I'm going to go ahead and treat. If you remember this and also the matching leash that I bought with this, came with like a little oil that you have to treat these with before you start using them just to help protect the leather long term. I think it makes it a little bit more water resistant. It helps to soften the leather up a little bit more. So I can finally go ahead and do that and then he can finally start wearing his little collar which it did also come with a little Hermes tag which he has been wearing for a while. I did have his name and my phone number put on it and it's something that he's, I think that he's had that on for the past yeah, pretty much ever since he's been wearing a collar, he's had that little tag on. So I do wish I could refresh that somehow because it has definitely seen better days. But now he can finally start wearing the matching collar too. And honestly, it's kind of bittersweet because it reminds me that my baby is growing up. I mean, he's always going to be my baby, but it makes me really happy that he's almost a full grown Labrador now. And I can definitely feel him becoming a little bit more like himself he's definitely getting more of a personality each and every single day what can i say i'm just a proud dog dad but anyway let's get back to rms because that's what you came here for this is the color that i ended up buying for the baby which i think this design has been updated since i bought this i think on a new version the tag is no longer removable it's permanently attached whereas on this one you could still remove the tag which i personally preferred because that meant that I could start using the tag as soon as we got the baby. I didn't have to wait for him to grow up basically, but you can still buy this. And they have launched some newer designs, some that are a little bit more whimsical and fun, others that have studs on them, but this is still my favorite design. And speaking of new things for our fur babies, Hermes has launched quite a few new things in their pet collection. So they do have some new colors, as I mentioned. They also have a new harness. They do have a new dog carrier. They have a new leash that you can actually wear crossbody, which is definitely not for me. It's not for my little beast because he would literally be dragging me down the street. It's not something that I would be able to take advantage of. But if you have an amazing walker, if you have a smaller dog and you want to be hands-free, there is a new leash that you can definitely try. They have launched that little tent for dogs, which I talked about before in previous videos of mine. And then most recently they came out with these, which of course I had to pick up. So they have a new all natural shampoo for your dogs. And then they also have a matching conditioner, which you know, I just had to try. I mean, my baby, and I don't want to say his name because he's asleep right there and I don't want to trigger him by saying his name, but you, you guys know who I'm talking about. He doesn't take that many baths because he has a double coat. So it takes me hours to try him. I mean, literal hours. And one of my biggest fears is to give him a hot spot. It's just not something that I want him to have. And then I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want him to be in pain. And you know, hot spots are just 
a pain to deal with and I want to be really really careful about that especially when it comes to a double coat dog but I do like giving him bath every once in a while so I thought why not do that with some Hermes shampoos and conditioners which the shampoo does smell okay it doesn't smell that good it just kind of smells like essential oils but the I better close this before I spill it but the conditioner smells amazing which is surprising because they're supposed to be the exact same scent I mean depending on the base that you put your fragrance in it can tweak the original scent but the conditioner smells 10 times better and it is a really thick it's almost like a mask rather than a conditioner it's like a super super thick cream that you can try to massage into your dog I'm not sure how it's gonna go with the baby because he's not the biggest fan of bath. He loves swimming on his own, but he's not the biggest fan of me giving him a bath. But I try my best and it does smell really good. And in case you want to know, the fragrance was custom made by the perfumer who creates all of Hermes's fragrances. So you do have a specific custom blended scent for their dog range. And if you love your dog, as much as I do, I mean, it has nothing to do with love. You don't have to buy Hermes to show your love to a dog. But if you love Hermes, that's more like it. If you love Hermes as much as I do and you want to treat your baby, your fur baby to something for the holiday season, these are definitely something that you can look into. And I mean, look at this packaging. It doesn't really get any more chic than this. Now, is his bath routine going to be more expensive than my entire skincare routine? Yes, probably. But... Who am I supposed to spoil if not my little prince? And now that we're done with all of our obnoxious puppy purchases, let's move on to some of the things that I treated myself to. And why don't we start with a piece of cashmere, which is something that I have never actually purchased before, and it is for a reason. It's purely because I don't think that I have a head for a head. I do wish I did, but I don't think I do, but it has been getting so cold, especially when we go to the dog park, or when I have to take the baby down in the morning, that I definitely wanted to invest in a nice cashmere hat. And I thought, who better to go to than Hermes? So I did end up buying a new cashmere hat from them. And I'm going to insert a mod shot for you, just so you guys can see what it looks like on me. And feel free to tell me if I look ridiculous. I'm not sure if I look kind of silly wearing a hat, because I just don't think that I have the head shape or the face structure to pull off a hat. But I need to protect my ears because it's been getting so cold. Now, Hermes does have several different types of hats. They come out with a new design each and every single season. And I pretty much looked at all of them. So they have one for women, which is in their new collection, which I think, I think the name starts with an F. Is it maybe the Philippa hat? It also has matching gloves. It's really, really simple. The reason I didn't buy those is because they have this wide band, which I felt made my head look even bigger. And then it also has a little metal detail, which I wanted to buy one that was a little bit more subtle or as subtle as I could possibly go. So I skipped that one, but I love the design. And if you have a smaller head, you can definitely go for that one. I tried the most recent addition to the Hermes men's head collection which features the Shantank design, which I of course loved, but that one didn't come in black. It comes in every single color of the rainbow except black. So that one I also had to pass on, but I am still tempted by the gray one. So if I do get my money's worth out of the piece that I ended up buying, I might have to buy the gray Shantank design before the season ends. But I actually ended up buying one that was from last season, but my boutique still had it in a size medium, which has this really, really simple and really subtle age design to it. I'm not even sure if it's going to show up on camera, but I'll try to do my best. Maybe I'll try to overexpose the shot just so you guys can see the details. But it's basically just this really, really subtle age pattern that is knitted into the hat and I actually have the matching gloves. Do you guys want to see the gloves? Maybe I should go and grab those. Yeah, let me grab the gloves and I'll be right back. Well, looking at them side by side now, these aren't actually identical, which does make sense because I've had these gloves for definitely a few years now, but it is the same idea. And I have no idea if you're going to be able to see this on camera because you can barely see it in person. But these two have a really, really subtle edge knitted into the fabric. And these are some cashmere gloves, but these are actually in blue. Whereas I bought the hat in black. And again, the reason I had to go for one from last season is because they don't have one for men in this current season 
in black, at least not in the Shandong pattern. I think they might have one with a tiny little leather detail for the current season, but I think again, those have a wider band, which I just simply didn't love. So if I wanted to get one that is a little bit more seamless, these, this was my only option. And maybe I'll put it on at the end of this video just so you guys can see what it looks like on me or I'll film some mod shots so you guys can share with me your honest thoughts, which you always do and I really appreciate it. But I don't know if I'm gonna become a hat person, but it's just something that I need in my life. I mean, yes, I could have gone to Uniqlo to buy a hat, but I wanted to buy something nice from Hermes. And by the way, these are 100% cashmere. I almost forgot, but I did also buy a new scarf from Hermes. Thankfully, I had the bag of it here, but the scarf is actually at the dry cleaner, but I think I should be able to pick it up tomorrow. And if I can, I'll make sure to film a little clip for you guys. I did buy another one of my favorite cashmere mufflers from Hermes, which I'm sure I talked about those before. I do have the black and the gray version. Most of these are double faced. So they're usually two different but complementary colors on each side. So I did already have the gray black combination. And then for a trip to Copenhagen, I did buy one in, I think it was in blue marine and then black on the other side, which I know is controversial. Most people don't like matching black with deep navy blue, but personally, I think that it's one of the most elegant combinations that you can find and Hermes thinks the same. So that is all the reassurance that I need. So I did buy those because I have quite a few blue coats and then I also have the cashmere gloves in navy. So I thought, why not? I wear those scarves so much that I might as well add a new one to my collection. And I am going to show you the gray one as well. Maybe when I film the little clips, just so you guys can see how well those scarves wear because I've had my gray one for, I mean, six, five or six years and I wear it almost every single day in fall winter and you could not tell. It looks as good as new and all I've ever done is I've had mine dry cleaned on a seasonal basis. Just at my regular dry cleaner, I don't do anything special, but because of the quality of their cashmere and how just incredibly soft and warm they are, they are some of the best investments that you can make into your full winter work. And last but not least, we have two more pieces left, one of which is actually a gift for you guys. So I'm not going to reveal that just yet, but you might want to keep your eyes out for an upcoming giveaway. And then the other piece that I picked up was kind of a random purchase, but it's something I could not be any more excited for. So without further ado, let's move on to unboxing this piece, which I think would make the most amazing gift. I love giving things like this as holiday gifts because I think these are the kind of things that no one would really spend the money on. Well, except me, but most people wouldn't spend the money on these things, especially not when it comes to buying something practical for themselves, but it's definitely something that, I mean, I don't know anyone who would not be able to take advantage of one of these things, which you can of course go to the person's favorite brand. You don't necessarily have to go to RMS, but if you know that they love RMS, this is something that I would definitely recommend, which believe it or not, is a new keychain. I have been loving my Louis Vuitton keychain so much that I thought I should invest in another designer keychain. And I have actually been contemplating using my little orange leather back charm as a keychain, which would definitely be really chic just because that's a back charm that I've had for years, but I have never once pulled it out of its box that I thought, I should really start using it for something, but then I saw this on display and I couldn't leave it there, which is their so-called, I think they call it the cheval keychain, which is basically a horse head. And it's just this little safety, little metal thing. I am sure that there is a name for it. It's not called a safety pin. There is a name for these types of safety hooks, which I'm sure it will come to me. And when it does, I'll put it up on the screen here, but it's basically that with a little keyring on it in the shape of a horse. And I just thought it was the cutest thing when I saw it on display. And there are, I think other than this, there are a couple more designs within this collection, which is technically in their men's line. But again, I mean, who's to say that you couldn't buy this if you usually shop their women's department, but there is another one that is the exact same idea, but it's in the shape of an H, which, you know, 
you can definitely do, but to me it was just a little bit on the nose. I preferred the horse, which was just a little bit more subtle. And then they also have a horse shoe, which I also really liked, but my boutique didn't have that one in stock. And I don't think it was available anywhere near us where we could have transferred it from. So this is the one that I ended up going for, which I have no doubt I'll get plenty of use out of. And my friends, this completes not only this Hermes unboxing, but also this series of unboxings. If you have not seen part one, I'll make sure to have it linked down below for you. And I also put it on the end screen. So as this video ends, you can go on to watching that. But I just really appreciate you guys being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.